Well, it is the end of the year, and if you are like me, you got a lot of stuff to do coming up in the next few months, and that's what we're talking about today on WCR Nation, the window cleaning podcast. So, if you want to waste some time with me, maybe learn a thing or two, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from WCRWindowCleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? Hey. Happy uh, New Year to you. Uh, this is the last episode of the year, so yeah. If you first time checking us out, awesome. Going to the new year, you got months and months and months of planning, and I got hundreds of episodes to give you that are already given. <laughs> I don't know. They're out there. Go listen to them. Follow, watch, whatever. Um, it'd be awesome if you are one of the elite, one of the nation, and one of the cool kids. That means that you uh, thumbs up every YouTube video, you listen to podcasts, you've left me a review, and most importantly, you order your supplies through me. What's up? It is because of you that I get to drink coffee in a metal cup instead of a styrofoam cup. Thank you for my name brand coffee. Uh, no, really though, if you do want to let, let me, uh, order your supplies for you, for you wow, what is that? I'll, 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 I'll st- uh, start that over. If you want to let me order your supplies for you, give me a call, 862-312-2026. That is my cell phone. You can call me, text me, whatever you want. A lot of people, a lot, a lot of people, my favorite kind of person will shop as much as they want. Make sure you're logged in, put everything in your cart. And then before you hit the uh, uh, checkout button, you just text me instead. Be like, yo, Jersey, it's in my cart, man. And uh, that's it. That's it. Costs you nothing extra. I get credit for it. That's how I make my cheddar and drink my fancy purple mugged coffee. And uh, most importantly, how I feed my family. So thank you very much, everybody who does that. So if you want to uh, let me put your orders in, that'd be amazingly epic. High five going into the new year. It's 862 312-2026. Three one two two zero two six. Enough of the shale sales spiel. But I'm very grateful. This is like the last episode of the year. Uh, episode we're like 130 something episodes in, and uh, I'm just very very grateful. Like the amount of you who order through me and uh, let me put in and just give me like texts that say yo. I learned something, or uh, I really love the podcast, you're doing great, keep it up, and the positivity is uh, mind-blowing. Never, ever, ever did I think it would be this uh, positive when I started doing this um, a couple years ago. I I figured there'd be a lot more negativity, you know, negative, a a, a thumbs down on a video, I'm okay with that. Negative comments, um, it's just, you don't see them, which is super, super awesome, I think that I can remember maybe two negative comments in two years of doing this. So thank you guys. I just wanted to go on a little rant and say that. But thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Hope your uh, year end is gone amazing. But with the year end, that means that we're looking forward to the future. It sounds, uh, I don't know, creepy-ish to think of the future as, but that's what we really are. Like all of us that are in business, We are all building a empire, right? We're taking nothing and creating something. That's really what we're doing. And this thing that you're doing, this business, this venture, this, you know, adventure is all towards a common goal. You're creating a company. You're creating a business that is providing you with money. It's providing jobs for other people and making a difference. And uh, we have to plan for that. And I know I talk a lot about planning, uh, but being that this is the new year, new you, right? There's a lot of things that we can do. The next three months are going to be pretty pivotal to what happens in 2020. And if you're watching this later, the next year, it doesn't matter. It really matters is that planning and preparation for the other times, the busy times, the the light switch, the the cash rich, all that is huge. It really is. And I'm telling you, if you've never done that, future planning, now's the time to do that. This year is going to be your year. You're going to kill it. 
And there's a few ways that you can kind of do that. And I always say the winter is for reflection. And I work as hard, if not harder, in the winter than I do the rest of the year. The rest of the year, you're cleaning, right? You got everything out there. You got your marketing calendar and everything else. You know what you're doing. It's winter that you're really, really, really planning. And there's a lot of different things to do in winter. There's a lot of things that go with business that from the outside, people don't know that happens. They don't, they don't know that you have to do that, right? They say you're cleaning a window. And they're like, oh, this guy's got to clean a window and he's got a business. Boom, it's that easy. No, no. It's that easy to get out there and maybe have some kind of business. But to have a great business, it takes a lot. It takes a lot. And I know a lot of you do the pre-planning and a lot of you do the research and a lot of you do the learning and uh, that is that is the most important part. And that's what I'm starting with is the learning side of it. You now have two, three, four, depending on where you are, months of twiddling your thumbs. And I'm not saying you're not doing any work. And I'm not saying there's lots of other things to do. But there's a lot of space that now you need to fill with productivity. And production may not be getting done, especially you guys in a colder climate. But... There's a lot of other things that you get done. And research and learning is one of them. I know. The guy who does a podcast on window cleaning is talking about how valuable learning window cleaning is. But besides the irony of that, you need to learn everything you possibly can to make yourself stronger. This is your college. George Aguilar from Empire told me something years and years and years and years ago. He said... Um, he said, I didn't go to college, so now that I know this is going to be my life, this is my college. And that kind of stuck with me. It's like, oh yeah, people go to college to be in business or to be in you know, a history major or whatever. They go and they do schooling years and years and hours and hundreds and hundreds, thousands of hours of research to get smart enough to do something right? Say you're going to be a historian. Say you're going to be a zookeeper or a doctor or a lawyer or a window cleaner. There is no school per se for window cleaning, but you can be your own professor. You can go and watch. Now, I'm going to say this first. I truly think that there's some good information in the WCR Nation. Go back and listen to all the episodes. If you've listened to them again, start listening to them again. Have them playing in the background. They're a podcast, man. You can play them on Alexa or whatever else, right? But listening to the information, watching the videos, learning the how-tos, refreshing yourself. Every time you listen to somebody speak, you're going to pick out new things you didn't hear last time. And the research side of it is going to be huge. I talk to, I would say, probably half a dozen people every week. And they all be like, I just found this show and I'm binging it. That's awesome. I just did, uh, what was the last guy did? 32 episodes in six days or something or whatever it was. That's awesome. That is awesome. Now, I'm not tooting my own horn. That's not what this is. And you guys know me. That's not what I do. But just re-listening to it. If I could hear 130-something shows of somebody talking about the business side of what I do, you have to be able to pick something up. So go back and listen. But there's other podcasts out there. There's other things like books. Have you read the Window Cleaning Marketing Blueprint by Chris Lamborghinis of windowcleaner.com? Yeah, shame, shameless plug. It's available free online. It is a book about how he built his business. One of the largest companies on the East Coast, residentially. Like, that's huge. That's an asset. It's just out there. Read it. If you don't like reading, there's lots of podcasts. Josh Latimer is a good one. Quick Talk Podcast. There are other podcasts by other people. We talked about this, I think, last week, but sales. You are a salesman because you're selling yourself. You're selling your time. You're selling your company. You're selling why you're better than the other one. Have you read or listened to an audiobook on sales? I'm guessing no. Some of you have. If you have, comment on YouTube there tell me that you have. But I'm guessing some of you haven't. If you haven't, go. They're cheap, 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 cheap. You can have books. You can listen to them. You can learn. I don't like reading. I have a lot of books next to me here, but I don't like reading. I'm more of an audio person. 
Go and get an audiobook. Learn sales. This is your college. Get an A. Be the top of your class because this is what you're doing. It's huge. You have to do the research. At least that's what I think. And I'm just a guy with a purple coffee mug. So don't listen to me. <laughs> do it for yourself. But that's a big one. That is research. The other one is just planning in general for spring. All of this falls under that. It's planning for spring. You're not planning for right now. You're planning your entire year. You're planning for when that light switch flips. Because here's the thing. If you're newer in business or you didn't quite catch it last year, there's going to be a day where you get no calls. One call, two calls. The next day you'll get 40 calls. It doesn't make sense. There's a light switch and nobody can pinpoint it. But it happens. And you need to be ready because when that happens, you're instantly, instantly slingshot into fast-paced business. Money mode. Keeping up with it. Fireman mode. Making sure everything's running smoothly and things aren't burning down around you. So you have to be prepared for that coming up. And you have to remember that everything we're doing right now, everything you're planning, every episode of Nation you're listening to, every podcast or book or resource or YouTube video or any of this stuff, all of that is planning for your future. It's the long term. You're building a strong business. The CEO of Coca-Cola knows what their five-year plan is. He probably knows what a 10-year plan is. Now those plans change, right? As time goes, they have to change. You have to kind of, because obviously maybe it rains on Tuesday, but that's the day you had that big project plan. I got to move that. Things are getting pushed. Now you're not making that big project in, in May. It actually gets pushed to June, you know? I have to put my coffee down because I'm tempted to keep taking a drink. But that's planning. Planning is building the empire. You are building an empire. If you're just building a company or you work on your own, that's cool. I understand when I say you're building an empire. It's it's the understanding of your business. It's, it's the mindset of your business. Your business could be a stinking empire and just be you. It could be so strong. You could be making crazy money, easier money because you got things working fluently, smoother. You've dropped those pain in the butt customers. You only got good customers. Your route is tight. Your, your, your uh, zone is smaller. You could be building an empire of a one person empire. You could. It doesn't matter if you have employees or not. The point is, is we're all here to make the strongest company. I want a company. I want a company so strong that nothing can shake the ground that it's on. Nothing can shake me, right? Nothing can mess with me in my brain because you know something? There's there's something to be said about happiness and uh, smoothness, right? If you believe in the Zen stuff and all that, there's a, 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 a ideal and it's that your body and your brain is a river. And your river's always flowing, but if a log falls in it and dams up the river, all you have to do to keep things flowing again is remove the log. And that's where the idea comes in where you have a pain in the butt customer, it ruins your day. You're like, oh, I got them next month. Man, you're ruining your flow. Why not remove that river? But that's building an empire. You're doing everything for the long term, not the short term. And speaking of that, in spring, there's something that you need to do that you should be doing starting Jan 1. And that is getting your long-term stuff put together. There's a lot of long-term stuff that you put. You can't go in, all of a sudden have it be May, your phone starts ringing, you're like, oh, I should optimize my website. I should, I should print, get printing done. All that stuff can be done now. Now, now, okay, so if you don't have the money going through winter, I completely understand that. But the printing can be completely developed it could be completely looked over. You could have everything done and ready so that when you first start making your big money, you call Steve at at cost printing or QPS, uh, quality print solutions, QPS, and just be like, yo, everything's ready. Here's all the files. Print it all. Print it all. The big problem with print is you have to have it out to get the calls, but yet you have to have it hit when it's in people's brains. If you advertise the week before everybody has it in their brain, you're losing out because a lot of people just isn't in their brain. Nobody wants a cheeseburger at 6 a.m. So it's very hard for, and funny thing is, I actually said that last week and somebody was like, yeah, uh, I would want a cheeseburger all times of the day. So maybe that's a bad example. But a lot of people don't want to think about dinner 
or supper if you're in the Midwest. Uh, they don't want to think about that in the morning. So a billboard of a cheeseburger at 6 a.m. doesn't do anything, but it sure does at 5. Sure does at 5.30. You're driving home like, oh, I could go for a burger. Boom. Right? So getting that stuff ready is huge because it's going to take you a couple weeks. If you're doing eight hours a day of this, maybe it'll take you a couple days. But you need to get all these templates put together. You need to then edit the templates. If you get the templates from the WCRA or you make them, I super recommend buying them because the things that you think are awesome aren't always awesome. Look at your ROIs. Maybe you got some really awesome ones. But the big thing is is that um, there are split-tested uh, templates available at the WCRA, uh, Window Cleaning Resource Association. So go check those out. But anyway... If you have templates, you have to still edit them. If you have them and you edit them, they have to be then made and ready for print. Once they're ready for print, they can be printed. All that print stuff needs to be here and ready and in your shop, in your office, in your room, in your storage. They have to be there. Because what happens is as soon as things go crazy, that's when you get to the post office and get your EDM going out the next day. That's how you maximize it. And the only way you can do that is having it. You have to have it printed, right? So any of your printings, get it all done, even if you're not printing it for another couple months. If you need to wait, it could be completely edited. Remember, if you're getting something printed, it will take you, the fastest shipping is take a week. That's to get the files off, then the print it, then to ship it out to you. And if it's a week and you wait for the time, oh my gosh, it's so busy, I gotta get those things printed, that's a week out. You just missed all that. So you have to have all that stuff ready. So that's one of the big ones. Another one's your website. If you got an amazing company, I talked a lot. A lot of people asked last week, last week or the week before about Justin Monk SEO. Phenomenal guy, I'm telling you, phenomenal. Justin Monk SEO, M-O-N-K, just check it. He's on Facebook. But something like that, if you're going with them, they are busy to a certain point. They can get you accomplished. They're super fast at what they're doing, but it's not a light switch. For them, kicking on your SEO is not like, all right, we got that website. Let's just go. Boom. That's the first page of Google button or switch. This doesn't happen, right? I had the most phenomenal experience I've ever had on a website. It, was, it took three months. I was on the front page, first page of Google. Three months, which is absolutely unfathomable that it was that fast. But it still took three months. That means you got to do that now. You have to get on board. Maybe they have, you could pay and say, hey, uh, you know, can I prepay for, for the, the um, year to get it in on this uh, tax season? Maybe they have something, but you have to get that rolling. And they're busy just like any other company. And it is not instant. That's another one you have to plan for now. Do it Jan 1. There's a lot of things that you can do ASAP to get ready. And there's some things you can do later. Printing is one of them. Get done now. Website is one of them. Get it done now. Have it edited, have it fixed, have your SEO done, and you start going all throughout the winter. Start posting on Craigslist. Start posting on the ads, the service ads, and the other little free things. It doesn't really do anything for the SEO because the backlinks and everything, they've changed all that algorithm, and I'm not smart enough to tell you how it is now, but it gets you out there to everything. It gets you kind of starting to be seen, right? So you definitely, definitely have to do that. Um, another thing to do is start to think about pulling stuff out of service and getting it fixed. That's equipment and trucks. Trucks are a big one. Trucks are a big one because when they're rolling, when you're busy, they're going out all the time and you don't have time to pull those trucks out and get the oil done, the brakes done, new tires, the Now's the time in winter, which is tough because, again, if we didn't plan well enough, uh, we may not have a ton of money, especially liquid money that we can just use. But that's a big one. Now, if you are a business owner that runs uh, with a credit card, then maybe now's the time you do it and you pay it off when you get cash rich in a couple months, right? I am completely not opposed to uh, credit cards if need be. It just... It, it's business, right? But doing that, you still can do that now. So you have the time so that when you get the trucks, everything's ready to roll. And when things are busy, you're not worried about popping them off. I had uh, one of my trucks was a Dodge. It was a newer, well, I guess sort of newer. Uh, and it just, it always 
needed something. It seemed like there was always tires, and then there was um, um, it was a uh, cali- not calibrating. Oh my gosh, alignment, alignment issues, and I think some the guys like to hit curbs and then tell you they didn't. But so I always had this thing in, and then the alignment would be off, and the tires would get done wrong, and I'd rotate them, and it wouldn't matter, and then I have to get new tires. So. Every time I had to do spring and slow time, I'd have to go get a bunch of stuff done on it. Winter and summer, you can get your oil changes done. That's a six-month thing. Get it done. Get that fleet maintained. Some of the graphics, they get damaged throughout the year. Rip them off and print new ones. Get them back on that truck so that your trucks are looking crispy. Crispy clean for spring. This is all stuff that you're just planning for. It's huge this time of year. The hard thing is, again, money. It's if you got it, awesome. If you don't, maybe a, a CC will float you. But that's one of them. Get your trucks serviced. Get all that things done. Remember, brakes are going to be needed. If they started to get needed, they're still going to be needed. If you're hitting your like 50,000 all that, you've got to do all your flushes. Like This stuff takes time. You have to get that done. The other thing on the same page is equipment. Now, again, I'm a salesman. Take it with a grain of salt. But equipment I always, always, always service my gear hard spring and uh, winter and summer for spring and for fall. And the reason is, is because your filters need changing. You know, you're working, they're out in the field every day, but you know that one piece is cracked or that clamp's not really working. That one piece is duct taped and the angle adapter chipped off. Your brush is all beat up. You got your hoses that aren't connecting right. They got, how many times have we had duct tape or electrical tape on things that shouldn't have tape, Right. How many times did we run our filters way longer than we should have? And we know we shouldn't have done that, but we did. So updating all that equipment doesn't mean you have to go and buy new stuff. If you want new stuff or you need new stuff or say you're getting into it, awesome. That's completely awesome. But the other side of it is the stuff that you do have, even handles and channels. We go through a few times a year and just pull out old handles that are they're not sitting on uh, poles right. You know, a handle broke because it got dropped or, you know, it's wearing down or the channel doesn't quite work or, you know, the channel's bent and we know it's bent, but we never pull it, pull it out, swap it out with a brand new one, right? Uh, cone adapters. If you're running wood cones on your tips uh, of your poles, swap them out. They're six bucks. Get them out and get them ready for that one. If things are busy, then nothing equipment wise is going to slow you down. And that's a big one. That's a big one. There's a lot of guys out there. You guys run tight, tight ships, and that's awesome. But keep it in your brain. Equipment's one of them just like trucks that you have to maintain. Otherwise, it's going to fail you at the worst time because that's just what happens. It's just what happens. And if you need equipment, give me a call at 862-312-2026. That's Jersey at Window Cleaning Resource. There's my plug. Call me. But really... Service your equipment, service your trucks, make sure that they're ready for the busy, busy time. It's big. It's like, if you know you're going on a long drive, wouldn't you fill up first so you didn't have to fill up halfway through? That's the same concept, man. It's the same concept. Uh, Another thing that I uh, like that you can actually wait on is hiring. Hiring, you have to hire now, this time of year. But our hiring process started in the beginning of February. We would start doing that. Now you should all ABH always be hiring, right? But when you're bringing on new people, it's very hard this time of year because they don't even get enough work to really understand what's going on. But if I start doing it in February, right? That gives me enough time to set up the interviews, interview, get them set up on payroll, get them in my shop. They're going to be playing with the windows on the ground level, playing with the windows up here, just understand things. And then they slowly go out with the route guys or slowly go out as the houses start to kind of slowly, you get those couple sprinkles of them coming in. And then when the light switch hits, they're ready. There's nothing worse, nothing worse than having somebody who's new and all of a sudden it's like, oh my gosh, it's going crazy. And you put a new person in the field. We've all had that. Tell me if you hate that as much as I do. But that's horrible. Because then what happens is that guy or girl it slows everybody down on the crew because now everybody's trying to watch them. They're like all done. Now they're covering his butt. Even if they would have done the work themselves, now they're realizing that they're covering for somebody else and it's just a whole thing. 
It just makes it very unpleasant. They don't get as efficient. And and the new people, they don't help. They don't produce at an hourly that makes sense for you. So now you're losing money in the busiest time of year. Doesn't make sense. Another thing that's kind of hard, though, is hiring somebody and floating that payroll as they're learning in February. Again, this is all planning. We should have planned all year for the pay. Uh, it's hard. It's very, very hard. But some of us didn't. So it all depends on your situation. But uh, the one thing that you can do and the biggest thing that you could possibly do is free. And it's uh, making your marketing calendar. Let me explain a marketing calendar again. I get emails, calls, texts, whatever weekly on this one too. And a marketing calendar is this. A marketing calendar is a layout. And I have it to the day and the week. Right, So how we have it laid out is that not every day, I don't have 365 days of a calendar printed out. What I have is obviously the days blocked in. There's only one line on each one, so you could do it in a spreadsheet, you could do it in the calendar form, you could do it whatever. And then it, I just make it into a packet so I know exactly where I'm at. But here's how it breaks down. is It breaks down like this. Monday, I list what I'm going to do. Monday, maybe it's a Craigslist ad. 10 a.m., Craigslist ad. Okay, Tuesday. I'm going to send out my four by six reminders because it's pre-spring. I'm going to do that at noon, right? Every single day I have one item on there and you don't have to put times. I don't actually put times. I just put the day, but what it is is every single day. So every day you come in, you know what you're doing that day when you're busy or not, you know, now how this floats is that when the busy season starts, I have a calendar started pre-season and busy season. Busy season is different because busy season, I don't want to send that on March 15th if it's snowing on March 15th. I'm not wasting my money. So as soon as I'm like, dude, today is crazy. I pull out the other one, switch it, go into full ramp gear. But I can do Craigslist ads. I do uh, job postings. I have my postcards, my EDDM. I do my website uh, um, uh, updates. I do... um, uh, my uh, Google Pages uh, updates on there. There's stories involved. I do Marketplace on Facebook. I do all those things I have listed in there so that every day I know. And then it doesn't go by by like a really busy week where you're like, oh, I did nothing. The busy week is the week that you're supposed to do something. If it's busy, that means your advertising is really going to work really, really well. So making that marketing calendar, you're planning the whole stinking year. And yes, January, I'm not advertising. I'm not paying for advertising. Let me rephrase that. I still do stuff every single day because I'm still in that habit of checking that sheet. But it's little things. It's posting in a Facebook group. It's uh, Moms of uh, you know Madison or whatever the groups are. You can post in there, just say a little thing. That's free. You can keep the thing registered. You can keep them because you never know who's picking stuff up. Free stuff like that, like Craigslist, Facebook, uh, Google, uh, all those things, that's all free stuff. It takes a few minutes of your time. And if you have a buffer pushing for your social media, that's even better. Buffer is a program that you can go in and fill your whole month's worth of stuff and it pushes it out certain days, certain times, whatever you tell it to. That's super valuable also. Uh, but making your marketing calendar is the biggest thing that'll take you a while to put together. It really will take you a while to put together and to not miss things. That's the hard thing is because you think you're all done and then you're like, oh, I should do this. And then you can put it in. If it's written down, you'll do it. If it is second nature for you to open this thing up every morning and see what you're doing marketing wise, you'll do it. And if you have all your uh, stuff printed and it tells you to do a EDDM, you already have it ready. All you got to do is count some sheets, put the cover thing and run it to the post office. So getting that marketing plan is huge. It ties everything else in together. But either way, it is going to be 2020. What are you going to do this year? Are you going to make it your B word? Or are you going to just kind of run on what you're doing already? It's up to you. It's up to you and you'll never get this time back because by the time you forget, by the time you remember that you didn't do something, it'll be busy and you won't have the time and things take too long. So go and do it. Do it now. 
get everything ready so that you can just kill 2020. And speaking of killing 2020, if you want me to kill it by being your rep, and so you got a guy, you, know, you got a guy, that's me, not for nothing. For you New Yorkers, I'm learning. Um, give me a call. My number, 862-312-2026. Again, my name is Jersey, like the state. Go ahead, save it in your phone. Please, text me, call me with questions, business questions. If you are going to be sending me stuff to look at for um, quoting questions, like, hey, how much would I charge? Shoot it to my email, jersey at windowcleaner.com. And uh, most importantly, buy everything you can from me. Be loyal. I love you, loyal, loyal people, man. I five, you guys are awesome. I, I love, love it, love it. And I do see some of you guys come across, put the order in by yourself. Listen, it is never an inconvenience for me to put it in. That's really how I make my cheddar. So please do. But either way, go kill it. The discount code this week, if you're listening right now, the discount code is marketing calendar. If you tell me marketing calendar, I'll give you 5% off if you order through me. Now, you got to call me, text me, whatever, but it has to go through me. Now, don't be that guy who puts it in and goes, oh, uh, can you give me a discount? No, you put it in yourself. It has to go through me. Also, tell me the code right away. Don't let me put the order in and then say the code because then it's already in. Okay? Awesome. Thank you very much. Go have a killer, killer year end. Hopefully, your 2019 was amazing, but hopefully, your 2020 is epic. 